Hello everyone, the next year, welcome to episode 37 of my Sin to Let's Play. I'm here in my storage room and I've actually just noticed that uh, I'm having call being sent around this network because this one is full. And actually I'd like to store some extra coal when I can, even though I'm probably never gonna actually hit uh, a thousand stacks. But yeah, I made another of those extra dimensional uh, upgrades so I can keep storing uh, the coal. By the way, if you see, there is, you can see, this is charcoal, I've been making this one separate from uh, this uh, sawdust stuff. So, yeah. So you can actually replace the coal in here and start storing it again. Okay, so since in my previous episode I managed to die, I um, actually lost a lot of, uh, I lost a bunch of things and two of them were my two ones that I created and actually started to like. So I'm going to create them again, but this time with a twist. This time I want to enchant them, and I want to enchant them in a very specific way. So first, actually, let me... Oh, actually, I'm going to need a th Thominomicon, another one, because I've lost that one again. And also, apparently, I've lost my wand. It was a low-grade one, not uh, the high one, so it's not that bad, but yeah. Okay. So with my Thaminomicon, I'm gonna, let's see, I wanna create the lightning one and the excavation one. So the lightning is, well, I'm gonna need two ones of the apprentice anyway. Let's just create a bunch. Okay, so I got three nuggets and some wood. So let's craft uh, three ones, uh, which, yeah, I have definitely have the water most of. So let's do it with water, so nuggets, and sticks, and this, okay, one, two, three. So we can always have some spare ones. Uh, let's turn, I'm gonna need a fire shard, no, actually, which one do I need? I need the air shards and the earth shards, so one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, and which aspects do I need for the lightning one? Uh, potentia and Tellum. Do I have Potentia somewhere around here? Probably not. Okay, so let me get some Cacti and some Nikolite, probably. Okay, so I got a bunch of things. I'd actually like to get rid of this. This one has six aspects of fire and I've never used fire, so let me get... Let's actually place uh, this fire. Uh, charcoal inside. Oops. So, okay. And actually, how much potential do I need? I need seven more. No, then I'm still gonna be stuck with it. Yeah. Okay, so let's get 16 and four weapons. There we go. So Wand of Lightning, and for this I'm going to need 16 metal, which I'm already extracting from one of my jars, and actually let this guy empty things out here. Okay, so now I'm stuck with <laughs> 6 of this, let's get rid of it. No, then I'm going to have, yeah, it's slightly annoying. Okay, so I need uh, 4 instrumentum, which I best get from flint. Let me get some flint. Okay, so I got my flint. I'm gonna need four. So, four flints. And... There we go. Wand of Excavation. Okay, so now, instead of directly enchanting them on the enchant enchantment table, and because I'm not sure what I'm going to get, uh, which is a problem, I'm actually gonna make a couple of books and enchant the books instead. Now books can be enchanted just as you would enchant uh, an item and if you remember, maybe I, I think I sh should still have them. When I, in the early episodes of my season, I actually found a couple of those books. Uh, where did I place them? Oh, there we go. So, as you can see, I actually have the efficiency 4, for example. Uh, and those three are quite pointless. Maybe the fire aspect will be nice, but yeah. So you can actually uh, have those um, books enchanted and then apply the enchant to uh, an item directly. This way you can basically, instead of wasting supposedly a wand, you waste a book if the enchant is not, if you're not happy with the enchant that you found. So let's see. 
uh, pain of yeah that's the thing that I'm not exactly sure what it's doing uh, sharpness it's, no, no another sharpness the thing is that I'm not exactly sure if I can uh, enchant books with um, with a thumbcraft enchant because they act slightly differently I should to be honest because books should be, be should be able to be enchanted with everything everything that's enchanted like every enchant should be applied should be able to be applied to a book but I don't know sometimes things don't work as you would expect them to so there are surprises let me recharge on some more experience okay let's see if I can get anything better and a knockback and feather falling okay okay I'm gonna need some more experience uh, I'm probably gonna need some more bookshelves as well uh, the thing is that I don't even though I'm, I started breeding cows and like harvesting them or killing them to be precise uh, it still takes some time so I can't efficiently really gather leather that fast Okay, so I got some more leather, but uh, I think that instead of actually just trying more books, I should first uh, finish my, all my bookshelves, at least all those th that I can uh, build right now, and only then start enchanting, because this uh, I'm kind of just wasting materials here when I'm doing it the way I'm doing it, so yeah. So let's get, I think I can craft uh, four bookshelves, probably and yep okay so let's try with two extra books so let's place the bookshelves like this let's try with two these two extra books okay so we've got the 24 level enchant disjunction okay not sure what this is one is doing and more XP okay so while doing some reading uh, apparently this junction is supposedly uh, does whatever the Athame uh, weapon does, which is insta-kill an Enderman. This is kind of the same, it simply adds more damage versus Enderman. Ooh, looting! That one I want. This is actually good. Okay, so let's apply... Let's, uh, I'm actually going to need an anvil first, so let's create one. Never done before, actually. So an anvil, a lot of iron. Three blocks of iron and then four ingots. Wow, this is actually slightly pricey. Less than a stack, but not that much less. Okay, so... Uh, three blocks. And... There we go. So let's place the anvil right next to it. It will make sense. Uh, let's place it um, here. Okay, so in order to enchant, I think I'm gonna have to place the enchantment on the left and the weapon on the right, or the other way around, yep, okay, the other way around, and then pick up the weapon for a cost, so let's get uh, this, and can I also apply to this junction at the same time, yep, okay, so I can also apply the one that will insta-kill Enderman, so yeah, sure, why not, took some more experience from it, and can I do anything else, sharpness, let's add sharpness as well, why not, Okay, I'm gonna need some more levels. But thankfully, because of my blaze farm, I really don't have any problem with getting experience levels. So I don't really care. Okay, also, since I just got my anvil, I'm gonna do another thing. I'm gonna get my golden helmet that I found previously on one of those uh, lucky zombies or skeletons that spawned with it. I'm gonna repair it, and you may ask yourself why. A golden helmet can be used in an alloy furnace to be smelted into 5 ingots. Now, when it has durability, it can't be smelted, but when you apply some ingots to it, you can fully repair it. For example, from the current durability to a full durability, it's going to require 3 ingots, but when I smelt it back, I'm going to get 5, so I'm just, I just earn 2 ingots, so why not? So, okay, so let's apply um, sharpness 2 as well to this weapon. And awesome. So now I have... Also, a sharpness. I have this ruby sword, which is looting, this junction, and sharpness. It's gonna do a lot more damage. It's gonna do more damage in general, more damage to an enderman, 
and when some something drops it may drop it may it may increase the chance of dropping and i also think it may increase the quantity of items dropped for example if i kill an enderman it may drop two ender pearls instead of one okay and also i can smelt this helmet into five golden ingots so there we go from the loot that i found from uh, enemies i just earned two gold ingots why not and actually this is something i didn't try yet it's quite interesting can i repair uh, red power items. This is actually s interesting because I do not know the answer. I should because red power is usually pretty good. Yep, it's gonna require 28 levels probably because it's really fully enchanted. So I'm not gonna do it yet, but when the durability is gonna get lower, I can easily do that. Okay, so let me restore back all these things. I may use this uh, items these books because the feather falling and bane of Anth are arthropods is like is damage for spiders this is probably what you're supposed to be placing on your boots but i have long fall boots so it makes no point and sharpness eh, and protection actually what happens if i try to apply sharpness to to an already existing sharpness hmm, interesting let me get some more experience levels if i can actually do that or not okay so i got a bunch more levels uh let's see how does it work, if at all? Can I apply a sharpness 2? Oh yeah, nice, it goes to sharpness 3. Why not? Can I actually apply 4th enchant? No, protection doesn't make sense, knockback. Yep, I can. Nice, I can actually start getting really nice tools. Or weapons for that case. Okay, so uh, these four are pretty useless. Now let me try to actually directly enchant a wand. I'm gonna... Gamble here and actually hope for the best. Uh, frugal means it takes less durability. Why not? And I'm gonna need some more experience levels. And I'm gonna try to enchant my other one. Actually, would really like to get the enchant that makes them uh, recharge from the aura, from the vis in the air. That will be pretty much perfect. But obviously, yeah, it's gonna take uh, some really good luck to actually get that. Okay, that's enough. This XP farm is brilliant, really, it's totally worth it. You know what, i am started thinking about it, how balanced is it really? Like, is it completely unbalanced or is it fine, what do you think? Okay, by the way, can I, what can I apply to the one of lightning? Protection, no, knockback, no, feather falling, no. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, okay. So the wand, uh, potency and frugal, yeah, sure, why not? Okay, so with these books, I think I'm going to store them here for a source of aspects in the future. can store this and place these aspects in the respective places. We can also look from the sides, apparently, for some reason. Uh, I guess I don't have machina yet. Oh, I do. And fire. Probably don't have it yet. Okay. Okay, so since it's night time exactly on queue, I'm gonna try and see how <coughs> how this new how this new weapon of mine does. So I'm gonna get my soul shards that I always carry with me. I'm gonna go for a little bit of a hunt. So let's see how these weapons do. I already spotted my first victim. So an Athaim can kill an enderman in two hits. Let's see what this weapon with sharpness three and disjunction two can do. And actually with looting, let's see if can actually make it uh, uh, drop more loot or make sure it drops at all. Okay, so. Uh, okay, one hit and two hits. Okay, two hits, not bad. Two of them were crits, though. Critical hits. Uh, in comparison to the theme that doesn't require it to be critical hit, it can be normal hits. But yeah, it did drop an Ender Pearl, so I'm not... Whoa, it dropped three Ender Pearls. Okay, I'm starting to like this already. This is very, very nice. Let's see, will it cause um, a zombie to drop more brains? Let's see. Uh... Two rotten flesh and one of those shards. Eh, can never complain. 
It will be really nice. I really like the three pearls from one Enderman. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna try looking for more. Alright, so the night is over. Uh, I killed three Endermen. You guys saw the first one, and then I killed two additional ones. Uh, one of them dropped two, and one of them dropped one. So, yeah, pretty awesome. I'm really liking this sword. I actually, to be honest, until now, I haven't uh, played properly with uh, enchanting, and I didn't know it was that powerful. If you're doing it right using the books and using uh, bookshelves, you can get a really powerful weapon, or actually a really powerful tool as well. Thinking about it, if I had done it earlier, I maybe could have gotten uh, a proper pickaxe with, uh, I don't know what it's called, the property that makes things drop better. Uh, it's treasure for the wands, but it might be, I think it's called differently for a tool. I may have gotten a lot more diamonds if I'd used it on a diamond block. So this is actually quite awesome, this is really nice. Okay, so, uh, in the previous episode, I did get uh, those 13 fragments from one of those chests, and I'd like to give it a bash, see if I can get something out of it. And as you can see, I'm also bringing my ender pearls, because I'm feeling confident that those 7 will be enough for me to finally complete my uh, wormhole thingy, or whatever it's called, forgot the name. My portable hole research. So I'm gonna give it a try, but you know what, first I'm going to start with the knowledge fragments. Okay, actually, you know what, let's start with this. So I'm gonna go for uh, for a thorough research and hope for the best. Okay, so far so good. And nice, completed. Okay, what else am I missing though? I actually thought it would be the last one. Okay, it's probably Precantio then. Uh, let's try something with magic. I do have um, a ton of water shards. Like really a ton of them. Okay, none of this as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do it later. Uh, first, let me try and do the knowledge fragment thingy. So you simply just place them nine like this, and you create a very specific re research uh, theory. And unlike uh, and a completely random one when you research out of here, this is a specific one. Now, obviously, I don't know what it is until I start research, but yeah, it's a specific one. And let's see if I can get something out of it. So let me gather a bunch of things and I'm gonna start researching it. Okay, so from the chest I have right here, I picked up some stuff. Let's see if any of them uh, do anything. Okay, so I can get uh, Cognito. I can also restock my papers. Um, maybe something from here, nope. Maybe this, no. Some seeds, nope. Some umber, nope. And some other words. Nope, okay, let me get other stuff as well. Okay, so I got a bunch of the usual suspects. Uh, first, I'm going to try to complete the, the portable hole. Uh, let's try, did I try uh, this? Nope, okay. So, there we go. For the void aspect, come on. There we go. A portable hole. This is actually quite a nice tool, and I think it was even changed to be even better than it used to be. Uh, portable hole. Okay, whoa, this is pricey. Okay, I'm not going to create it yet, unfortunately. This is not a problem, the 24... Uh, this is a problem, 24 aspects of the Ender Pearls, not going to create it yet, no way. Okay, so let's try to complete the... Tiny bow ties, apparently. Let's try with lead. Nope. Arrows tried, apparently. String. Okay, got the, the toilet paper aspect. And there are two more. Uh, green sapphire for the valu valuable. Okay, so this is as well. And can I discover the last one? Yeah, it's usual something with rubber. Come on. And done. Tiny bow ties. Sounds interesting. Can I apply this to a golem? Tiny bow ties are cool. No doubt. Okay, so black wool and a string. A must for any golem on the go. <laughs> this bow tie will 
fill it with additional energy, increasing its pace. Okay, interesting. It's actually not uh, not that pricey. No, let's create some. I need black wool for that though. Let me go and harvest some of my sheep. Or actually, yeah, yeah I'm going to harvest some of them. I may have some spare black wool here, but probably yeah, not four. So let me get my shears and I'm gonna harvest them. Okay, so I got my black wool and I really can't wait. If if I can just apply to any golem, this will be awesome. All of them are getting bow ties. But not uh, not all of them, but some of them. At least one. I need to have them wearing bow ties being awesome. Okay, so I already have the motor suspect apparently. Great. So accessory bow tie. Do I just apply to them? Oh my god, this is awesome. This is awesome. But what does he get from it? Uh, this boat I will feel its additional energy increasing its pace. So I guess it's, he's running faster now. And can I just take it off of him somehow? Like with a wand or something? Like shift right click maybe? No, this is this takes him down completely. And I think I've lost my tie. Oh no, he's... He remembers he's upgraded. But, like, can't I remove it? Well, sure, why not? I want this guy to be, like, filling around my crucible like a sir. Going around being awesome like the golem that he is. I love it. This is... I think pretty much Thumbcraft, this Let's Play, I've realized that Thumbcraft uh, just became, I think, my favorite new mod. Equipment Exchange used to be the one, at least the first Equipment Exchange, but I think, without a doubt, um... Thumbcraft is starting to replace. This is insane. Okay, so advanced golemancy. Yeah, and by the way, while I'm doing, while I'm talking, yeah, I'm starting to research a little bit more. I have a feeling that I'm going to need a lot of soul sand. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to harvest the nether for more, some more soul sand. Okay, so I got myself a bunch more soul sand. Uh, Actually, just a stack and a half, so probably gonna need, I'm probably going to need some more eventually. Ooh, okay, I'm going to need it, more stuff here. But I did bring a lot of these different materials, so let's see. Arrows, maybe, for weapons. Yep, okay. Ooh, arrows. There have been some updates to Thumbcraft. Arrows used to have also the feather aspect. Apparently not anymore. Okay, by the way, if, if it uses the weapon aspect, probably these guys are going to be able to fight as well, the new golems. Okay, Obscurus, maybe, nope. Chests... Nope. Uh, flint, for tools, nope. Nicolite, nope. Redstone, no, and uh, probably not, yep. Okay, maybe zombie brains? Let's try Cognito first. Actually, it doesn't make difference. Nope. Okay, I'm missing two aspects. Something to do with Golemancy. You are now consider yourself a well-versed in the art of Golemancy. It is time to expand your capabilities beyond that of simple workers. There is potential to turn them into warriors as well. Oh, so I may, be, I may need armor. Something to do with armor. Let me get uh, some iron boots maybe. Is there any cheaper type of armor that I can use? But I have a problem with iron, but yeah, not yet anyway. Okay, so let's try giving them armor. Probably that's what they need. And I guess Precantio as well for magic. Let's see if armor is what they need. Uh, okay, let's go for a uh, cursory. Yep, okay, so they need armor. Let's get a bunch of it. Uh, this is gonna take some time. Okay, and for life, okay. Just give him a couple of stakes, make them happy. Okay, so this is complete. And let's give them a bunch of stakes. Okay, so advanced golemancy. Ooh. 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 Some fancy stuff. Okay, taking things to the next step. 
You've managed to refine the basic golem body into something sturdier and more agile. The result is a construct that should be quick and strong enough to enter combat. These golems also repair their damage twice as fast as worker golems. The first practical application of this knowledge is the creation of an iron golem guardian. This golem, when placed, will guard an area from intrusion and attack any monsters that dare enter it. Smart versions of this golem can be assigned a wider variety of targets, including creepers. Uh, fortunately, these golems are limited to melee combat only. Uh, I can think of a use for them when I'll get to a point where my cow spawner uh, is automatic. I may use it, these guys to farm them. Like, the, the spawner will keep spawning those cows and this guy will keep killing them. But until then, then yeah, n not really anything special. Okay, but there were other different uh, theories that looked looked interesting. So let's give them a try. Let's see what else can I get. Hmm, maybe weapons? Nope. Does it say anything yet? No, obviously not. Uh, nope. Nope. What am I researching? I have no clue. What am I researching? Okay. Okay, so what did I get? Arcane pressure blade. Okay, so it's probably gonna require magic. Warded stone, glass, and doors have been a great success. And do you think you should see what else can be thought to recognize you? What about the versatile pressure plate that just responds to you or anyone except you? Hmm. Interesting. Probably gonna require something with magic. What? Uh, just the doors and this one requires no specific aspects. Uh, okay, so it does require cognito. Probably gonna require this as well. Yep. And armor again. Okay. So let's create a bunch more boots again. I'm really uh, pretty sure there's probably a better way to get the armor um, aspect instead of just spending all those iron ingots. If you guys have any idea, let me know. I really am quite clueless in here. Okay, so an arcane pressure plate. Oh, it has a brain. This pressure plate has a few novel features. Firstly, it has three settings that can be toggled by right-clicking on it. It can trigger on everything, just you, or everything except you. This is useful for uh, multiplayer, but not really... Maybe for single player, I can ignore enemies with it, but for that I have the obsidian pressure plate. Secondly, like all your other worded items, only you can remove it. This is nice. Yeah, this is again for something... Uh, with multiplayer in mind. And lastly, it can be linked with other players with the use of keys. These pressure plates can be used to open arcane doors as long as someone with access to the plate has access to the door as well. Yeah, mainly multiplayer in mind here. I may find a use for it, but yeah, not really. Okay, so since I'm in good mood, I can do a little bit more research as well. Okay, something with motion again. Golem Animation Core Perception. Ooh, I've been looking forward to get this. Probably it's gonna need carrots. Something to do with perception, no doubt. Because carrots have visum. Because eating carrots improves your vision, everybody knows that. And permutatios. I'm gonna need some seeds. Do I have any here? 13. I hope they're enough. Uh, nope. Okay, so let's see what this one is. Animation core perception. Golems created with this core have a much larger perceptive range, allowing them to traverse larger distances to perform their tasks or see things that you would not normally be able to do. Well, I guess uh, that's pretty much. For example, giving it to the wooden golem will be able will make him be able to collect items from further away. Um, 
relatively intuitive and simple. Sure, why not? Not going to argue. Well, this one is very uncooperative. Okay, what am I researching? Hoe of growth. Oh, a new tool. I'd like that very much. Thank you. If it's doing something special, at least. Uh, well, tools. Uh, plants. It's time to test exactly... It is time to test exactly how much magic thomium can absorb. You have discovered a way to infusing thomium hoe with nurtur nurturing and natural magic. Well, it's going to require some sort of magic. Again, let's use the water shards because I have a ton of them. Or not. Uh, what? Does it require magic? Then it might require uh, some tools. Nope. Okay. Or, oh, maybe probably metal. Nope. Okay, this is odd. What am I researching? Maybe something to do with growth of things. So maybe this aspect, the corpse. Yep, okay. Crops, not corpse. And food. Actually, it makes sense. Everything with uh, stuff that grows and a tool. Oh, I didn't finish this. Okay. Hoe of growth. Ooh, looks neat. By merging the magical energy from a wand of exchange with Thamium Ho, you have created a farming implement with a few equals. When used to fill fields, it will tilt a 3x3 three three area instead of just a single block. Okay. When used to crops or other plants, it will act as bone meal to promote its growth, though at a higher cost of its durability. It might even be able to grow plants that normally bone meal can't. If shift is held while using this tool, all the special properties are suspended, it functions like a normal hoe. Uh, yeah. I'll keep that in mind. I have all my farming needs completely automated thanks to my golems, so... Yeah, I don't really need that kind of thing. It will be nice to have, but I don't just don't really need it, so yeah. Okay guys, so I think uh, the episode has come to a good point. I'm pretty happy with what I managed to do here. Uh, getting this new enchanted weapon is quite brilliant. I'm really happy with it. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.